computer science videos here today to show you guys in this tutorial how to schedule an email using Microsoft Outlook on a Mac computer without further ado let us start the video so in this tutorial you need to have access to a Mac computer and account for Microsoft Office 365 this can be for one school of business we also need to have access to the desktop application now we can go all the way down to the dock go to launchpad go to Mac office click on Microsoft Outlook make sure you are signed into the account let's now go to new email let's now send this to my main account subject Schedule email. Let's compile an email. Insert the signature. And now what we can do is we would send this email, but now we can click on the arrow that points to the bottom of the screen next to send click on send later and let's just look at the date and time we'll send it for today 19 22 44 yep Let's change that to 43. Click on send and that has now been sent. So what we can do is go all the way down to the dock after we minimize Outlook. Go to Safari. Bearing in mind that this will be sent at 10.43 p.m. Let's go to office.com. Make sure you are signed into the account. Let's go to Outlook it's now just the waiting game so we are, have signed into the account clicked on outlook and now we're just waiting for the email which has already been sent but we will receive this at the specific and specified time as it is a scheduled email in the meantime what we just need to do is wait for the email to be received via our end the signal has already been sent. We are just waiting to receive the signal. One more minute left. I will fast forward this now. And so the email is scheduled to be sent on the 19th of April 2022 at 10.43 p.m. Command R to refresh. Still not been sent yet. Let's see what's happening and why that's not been sent. Let's go down to the dock, go back to Microsoft Outlook. It's still in the draft. And now it looks like it has been sent. And there we go. So that's how you schedule an email from one email address to another. We can now quit Safari, go back to Outlook, quit Outlook. And so that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Thanks for now. Thank you for making it towards the end of the video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Computer Science Videos. Be sure to check out the previous video on screen now or you can ideally click on the playlist and watch all the journey for computer science videos from the start until now